are you doing out here? What the, what the hell are you? No! 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 God, please, no! 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No! 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 Hell no! 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 I refuse. No! No! Nicks, don't even think about it. The thoughts you have in your head, you take them out, you get rid of. No! What's good, CK Crew? It's your boy CK2K, and I'm coming at you with a quick, quick video about this ridiculousness that I've been reading in the. In, <laughs> I, I just watched Scarface. This ridiculousness that I am reading in the streets. <laughs> boy, if you don't get. That was so bad. I'm gonna cut the scuttlebug. I'm gonna get right to it. There are rumors that the Knicks are putting together the perfect package, pause, to bring in and make a trade for John Wall. Each other. Look at this. Oh, for Wall, up ahead with a left-handed flush. Now, if you told me this three years ago, I'd be like, huh? I'd be all for it. But you're telling me this right now when they over there paying John Wall damn near $5 billion? I think it's realistically like 200 It's a lot of money. I don't want that on my books. The trade package is looking like they're centered around Cantor, Neil Aquina, Dotson, like in, along those lines, Courtney Lee somewhere in there. No, we are so close to this offseason. Mind you, I get it. It is not guaranteed that Kevin Durant will be a Nick this offseason, but I'd love the possibility, okay? I love the possibility of bringing KD to NY, one, and two, even if we don't get him, the fact that we have a clear checkbook, you know what I'm saying, that we could not, we don't need to necessarily spend it all this summer, but bring in some more pieces to start building a playoff team, because when we get KP back, that's when the ball's going to start rolling, we got to get the right pieces around him until we're able to get that superstar, hopefully in 2020. But bringing in John Wall right now slows that down heavily, because A, we won't have enough money to get anybody in, in uh, upteenth years, so mind you, we got to re-sign Chris Asporzingis, like yes, he's a restricted free agent meaning that we get first dibs but we still have to bring them back and chris taps is going to be worth a lot of money a lot of money so we need to make sure we can count our pennies the best that we can to be able to get somebody to team up with kp as well as our guys and i know all my my rebuild and build from the ground up stands are going to be killing me in the comments right now especially because i am one of those spearheads to that method or that idea of us continuing to become a better team the chat's going to be like but ck i love what we have youth wise why don't we just grow from within and I'm, i, I get that but at the same time we still need to try and get these guys because the knicks are becoming attractive again it is not 2010 if i hear another lebron comparison talking about oh, you get we were trash back then okay mind you we had an okay team when we got amari sodemeyer if we had gone lebron maybe we could have made some damage we would not have made that much of a difference this is a different situation we have youth all around we have a chris Stapps porzingis we have a, a solid oh, well you know that's a debate for another day i was gonna say solid point guard but we don't know about frank Nielkin. we don't know what's going on in my mind he's a solid point guard but the, the, it's not yet to be seen and i know a lot of you guys are still team <laughs> but we have youth we have money and we have draft picks we are in a good position for the long run and also to make a jump in the playoffs this next season <sighs> okay Okay, okay, let me not completely doo-doo on this idea. Bringing in John Wall would be tremendous. Now, we are shaky at the point guard. We do have the idea of what could be the future of the point guard in a Frank Nielakina and then possibly in Emmanuel Moody. I know that's not an idea a lot of you guys are crazy about yet, even though Moody has been proving himself. But the possibility is there. We have to see if this continues beyond this season or if this is just a Jeremy Lin situation. I don't think it is, but there, it, it's a fair argument. So bringing in a John Wall would be, pairing him with Chris Dasperzingis would be heavenly. Like, it's one thing to have him and Bradley Beal, you know, combine the guard position. But to have John Wall with a Chris Dasperzingis type player, that will elevate both of their games. I'm putting that on the table. There's no argument against that because John Wall is the do-it-all guard. Just he needs a jump shot, but he's getting there. Let's be real. Pairing him with Fizdale would be a masterpiece, okay? So I understand that from my stands that are really heavy on this trade. But if that contract was not what it is, 
I would be all for it. But that contract is what it is. They are paying him their entire rent to be in the freaking Verizon Center or wherever the, war, the Wizards play right now. I'm exaggerating, but the point of the matter is the man is making a lot of money from that team, and I don't want that on our books. We just got rid of Joakim No, All we need to do is find a place to ship Courtney Lee. Shout out to Courtney Lee. Welcome back to the team, by the way. We don't need the problems. This is this. It, 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 is James Dolan up to this, huh? Did somebody let James Dolan out of his cage? Then I'm going to need you to call up my boy uh, Scott Perry and get the keys back and make sure we put him back in his cage. We don't need to be making these kind of blockbuster trades anymore. We are in the power seat. We are finally in the power seat. We are becoming attractive. Don't blow it. <sighs> All right. And here's some other things that are in the news today. We did find out about uh, Trey Burke's injury. It's an MCL sprain, so he's going to be missing some time. It's not as, I mean, it, it, it's rough because we, we're going to ha not have him for a little bit. But it's it's probably the best timing. If Sorry, I'm trying to find a, a silver lining here. It's probably the best timing for it because we have Courtney Lee back in it. I suspect Frankie Lakina will be placed back in the rotation here, if not this next coming game, at some point next week. We know how Fizdale is with, you know, these these uh these spaces of benching these players to, you know, give them a lesson, give them, you know, let them let them uh sit a little bit and then get back out there. And I feel like that's what he's gonna do with Frankie Lakina uh this coming week. So this leaves that open spot for that to see who fits to get Courtney Lee um uh, you know back out on the court and looking good to possibly move him. It is bittersweet with this um news of his injury, but hopefully he comes back soon. Um, but on top of Trey Burke being injured, it is also in the news that he wants to be a Nick. He said it himself. I posted it on my IG. <clears throat> I hope you all follow me on the IG. He did sit down and have an interview talking about uh, free agency and realizing that every game is uh, audition for another team, but he primarily wants to be a Nick. Um, I had asked you guys what you guys thought about it. You guys, it was pretty, it was pretty, it wasn't, it was actually most of you guys wanted Trey Burke back, which is expected. And I, I, I agree. Now I know we are pretty heavy at the guard point, the point guard position, but I'm one of those guys that believes that you should have three point guards regardless if they all play. Damn, man. All right, so let me let, let's re, oh God, let's rewind this real quick. So now going down the list of guards, okay, we have Emmanuel Moody, Frank Nilakina, uh, Trey Burke. Oh God, Damian Dotson and Alonzo Trier. Maybe it's best for us to not bring back Trey Burke. God, that hurts me to say. I just feel like Trey Burke would be such a good piece, but you have to keep Trier. In my mind, when we have a, a, a nice put together team, Damian Dotson is going to be big time for that team. Or, or that comes down to if we hit a home run in this offseason. I mean, if we hit a home run in the offseason, then we might have to let Trey, uh, Trey Burke walk. But I mean, if we don't, then bring him on for another few years for cheap. Oh man, I, I need I need y'all help. I'm actually stumped on this one. I, I need more time to think about it. I completely forgot, you know, of the the beautiful rise of Alonzo Trier. Um, we do have an we have an overflow for guards, but my thing is, I, Dotson is more valuable in my opinion than a Trey Burke, and that's not a slight. It's just he he can play multiple positions. Yes, Trey can play the one and the two, but Dotson can play the two and the three, and the three is one of our weakest positions right now depth wise so oh man i i need y'all help help me on the comments below talk some sense into me let me know what you guys think one way or another i'll be in there and talking back to you guys um but yeah that i just completely forgot i just stumped myself in video and i'm not gonna take it out i'm exposing myself i make mistakes okay so help me on the comment section below uh, damn damn but anyways dotson has been in the trade rumors again these are rumors just like all we've been hearing about frank neal kingdom that i'm not gonna talk about because we're hearing about you know the same teams you know we're hearing about phoenix we're hearing about orlando uh, frank neal king is not going anywhere in my opinion i could be wrong we'll see what happens but damien dotson has is appearing in a lot of people's uh requests and um we haven't heard a statement from the knicks to say whether it's true or false but it is out there and um wholeheartedly we do need to start jettisoning some of these players like i named before corny lee is probably gonna have to go um uh, uh lance thomas is gonna have to go um we might have to ultimately give up two of those guards that i named man Cantor might not come back Cornette's not gonna be on contract long term you know so all these kind of things that these are things that 
that we're going to have to discuss and have to figure out coming to the offseason because there's going to have to be some cuts and there's going to have to be some jettisoning to go to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially with KP coming back. But I'll tell you two names that I'm already completely all in that we need to re-sign that aren't already on contract pass this year. And that is Emmanuel Moutier and Noah Vonley. That's it. That's all I care about right now that are one year left that need to be brought back. All right. Wait. Trier's, is Trier locked in for another few years? If Trier's not locked in, then add him to the list. Make him three. Well, with this being said, I was supposed to be recording a video about, because you guys have been wanting me to run my uh, my NBA 2K19 uh, Knicks rebuild video. I was supposed to record that today, but with this freaking John Wall news, I decided to bump that for another day to make this video. Hope you guys like this video. I'm looking forward to y'all thoughts in the comments below. This is a quick update slash opinionated rant, so I want to hear from you guys in the comments is john wall worth the move do we need to get rid of some of these guys or bring in john wall and just bite the, bite the bullet and hope that we can make some space to fill up we God, i don't even know if it's possible i don't think there's any way that we can pay kp wall and uh kd if it is possible hit me up in the comments below who's the guard that needs to go who are the odd mans out please and I, i'm looking for all y'all uh i'm looking for all my gms in the comments below let me know who are the odd ones that cannot come back next season in the best case scenario of us bringing in the kevin durant all right i'm leaving it to you guys i left my opinions i stumped myself in my own video but listen here nicks do not trade for john wall all right now, I'm going to close this video out. If I upload this and I find out anything about this being serious and John Wall becoming a Nick and it includes a Frank Nielakina, that same flight that I was going to make earlier for Scott Perry and um, uh, uh, Steve Mills, considered that threat re-upted. Is that a word? I... I I don't know. You guys are the real ones. Follow me on my socials. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell, people. The bell is important because some of y'all ain't seen the videos and I'm hearing about it. Hit the bell. Much love, y'all. Catch you in the next one. Let's get it. Let's go.